Welcome back once again, all of my low carb friends. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. We have summer coming up just around the corner. The days are already starting to get warmer. So it is officially ice cream time. Today, I am going to show you how to make the easiest keto ice cream that you have ever made. It's made in your blender and ready to eat in less than five minutes. The only requirement is that your blender or your food processor is high powered enough to chop ice. So you need a little bit of a high powered blender or food processor. It doesn't have to be the most expensive one, but it just needs to be able to chop ice. And I'm not just gonna show you how to make one flavor cause you know me, I don't do that's the onesie thing. I am going to show you how to make three flavors. One is chocolate, which technically the way I'm gonna show you can be chocolate or vanilla berry flavored ice cream. And the third is tiramisu ice cream. These are so delicious and so easy. If you want printable versions of these recipes, you can check out my website at janetsdeliciouslowcarbkitchen.com. You can find printable versions of these recipes and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see lots of easy, delicious keto recipes, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you scroll down in the description of the video. You'll see some Amazon affiliate links. Anytime you purchase anything using those Amazon affiliate links, a small portion of your purchase will go to me and will help to support the channel. You will also see a link to Java Coffee. Make sure you click that link and purchase some delicious Java Coffee and a portion of that purchase will also go to me and help support the channel. And while you do all that, let's get cooking. In a large blender, Combine about 16 ice cubes, add 2 thirds cup of coconut cream or full fat coconut milk, you could also use heavy whipping cream if you'd like, 4 tablespoons of powdered monk fruit allulose blend or powdered sweetener of your choice, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, now, if you're making this just a plain vanilla ice cream, then I would use one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm making a chocolate ice cream, so I'm only using two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Anywhere from two to four tablespoons of keto chocolate sauce or any flavor sauce or syrup that you'd like. So if you want this to be a caramel ice cream, you can put caramel sauce instead. It's up to you what flavor you want this. Sprinkle in one teaspoon of xanthan gum. Yes, you need the xanthan gum. This is what makes your ice cream thick and creamy. If you don't have it, you're not going to have that thick, creamy ice cream-like texture. Pulse everything together just a couple times just to combine it a little bit. Now, my blender has an ice cream setting. I just turn it to the ice cream setting and let it do its thing. If you don't have an ice cream setting, it's okay. Just blend on high for about one minute or until everything is thick and creamy. Once it's done, it should look like soft serve ice cream in your blender. Now, you could eat it just like this if you want to, if you like the soft serve feel. But if you're like me and you like your ice cream a little bit more firm, Place it in the freezer for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes or until it's your desired consistency. Now I will say this ice cream is meant to be eaten the day that it's made. If you leave it in the freezer overnight, it is going to become a hard rock and you would have to let it either defrost on your countertop or in your refrigerator and it would take quite a while for it to defrost all the way. So if you're wanting to look for ways to keep your ice cream smooth, you can check out my video on keto ice cream that stays soft even after being in the freezer overnight. And if you're wanting to put any add-ins into this, you can always, once it's all made, before you put it in the freezer, you can fold in cookie pieces, candy pieces, whatever flavor of ice cream you want, you can make it with this base. For the strawberry ice cream, in a large blender, place about 10 ounces of frozen berries of your choice. I'm using strawberries and it's about 10 strawberries. Just make sure they are frozen. You can actually use any frozen fruit you want, just as long as it's 10 ounces of whatever fruit you're using. Combine 2 thirds cup of coconut cream or full fat coconut milk. You can also use heavy whipping cream if you'd like. 
Add anywhere from two to four tablespoons of powdered monk fruit allulose blend or the powdered sweetener of your choice, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, sprinkle in one teaspoon of xanthan gum. Again, you do need the xanthan gum. This is what makes your ice cream thick and creamy. Pulse your mixture a couple more times just to mix it up a little bit. Then blend on high for about one minute until everything is thick and creamy and the texture of soft serve ice cream. Once it's done blending and you have the texture of soft serve ice cream in your blender, you can eat it as it is. Or again, if you want a firmer texture, you can freeze it for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes or until it's your desired consistency. And once again, this ice cream is also meant to be eaten the day that it's made. For the tiramisu ice cream, in a large blender, place about 16 ice cubes and 4 ounces of cold cream cheese. Pulse it just a few times just until the ice is chopped up a little bit and the cream cheese is chopped up a little bit. Combine 2 thirds cup of coconut cream or full fat coconut milk. You can also use heavy whipping cream if you'd like. Add two to three teaspoons of the Jave Microdose Coffee. If you don't know what that is, you can see my Jave Microdose Coffee review. Check out that video. If you don't have the Jave Microdose Coffee, you can use coffee extract instead, or you can use a couple teaspoons of instant coffee powder. Add anywhere from two to four tablespoons of the granulated sweetener of your choice. I'm using granulated monk fruit sweetener. You can use whatever sweetener you want. Sprinkle in one teaspoon of xanthan gum. Pulse just a few times just to start blending the ingredients together. Then blend on high for about a minute or until everything is thick and creamy and you have the texture of soft serve ice cream. Once you have the soft serve ice cream texture, add about four tablespoons of keto chocolate chips. And if you want to, you can add some chopped sponge cake or some chopped vanilla cookies to give you more of that tiramisu taste. You can also put a little bit of brandy or anything in this to get that full effect of the full tiramisu taste. Then just pulse just a couple times just until... The chocolate chips are chopped a little bit. Don't pulse it too much, otherwise your chocolate chips will turn into powder. So just a couple times, just enough to give them, to chop them just a little bit. Once everything's mixed together, again, you can eat it immediately. Or if you want a firmer texture, place it in the freezer for 30 to 45 minutes or until it is your desired consistency. And once again, this ice cream is meant to be eaten the day that it is made. Keep in mind, if you think these ice cream recipes are too much for you, you can always cut them in half. The tiramisu and the chocolate vanilla ice cream, those make about three cups. And the berry ice cream makes about two cups. So if you think that's going to be too much for you, you can always cut the recipe in half. And it'll still turn out just fine. So eat and enjoy. And those are our recipes of the day. I hope you enjoyed them all. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up like button, click that subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.